This was supposed to be the worst land in Rajasthan with salinity of 12 to 16,000 ppm which is about three times the sea and uh, very low soil depth and no water. So, and nothing could grow here, nothing could be constructed. There were uh, three studies done, one by an organization called Kajri which is under Ministry of Agriculture. <coughs> Afri which is under Ministry of Environment and Forest and uh, Department of Space. And all three of them, their people, uh, the scientists came here and uh, they did the study and their report they said that this land is of no use. And short of saying that only fools will purchase this land because of extremely high salinity and uh, very high pH value and uh, because of the salinity breaking down anything and not letting any vegetation grow. First of all, uh, what we did was uh, we got our friend Rajendra Singh to come because uh, anything you do you need water and there was no water here. And he studied the topography of the land and then he said on this path which seems to be a water path, you know, you dig up 10 to 12 feet and make the uh, lakes here. The rains came and in a matter of uh, just about uh, two hours all the six lakes got filled in. But then people said this water, uh, you have not done the lining uh, and doing any lining would cost crores of rupees. With such, uh, you know, we didn't have that kind of money. Moreover, we wanted water uh, as one of the methods for uh, reducing salinity. Once you do lining, then you can't do anything. So, and uh, if there is one puncture somewhere, the entire lining becomes useless. You know. So anyway, uh, the lakes got filled and uh, in three months, the, the water became saline. Next year water, uh, the rains came and the saline water was, uh, we saw saline water was flushed out. The sweet water came in and it became uh, saline after five months. Third year it became saline after seven months. Fourth year it became after nine months. Fifth year it became after 11 months. And sixth year it was water was sweet throughout the year. So we understood that it was, a, it is a six year period for water to be sweet throughout the year. So in those six lakes now the water is sweet. Now we have got 15 lakes with about 6 crore uh, water capacity. Salt breaks anything. Salt and cement are big enemies. Uh, salt seeps in into the cement structure and breaks it. But salt and the lime are very good friends. And uh, so therefore we decided to make a foundation that is till plinth of lime. So we got these two machines made which uh, have been used uh, using the shaft of the tractor to processing the lime. And uh, what you do is you keep uh, this muria lime uh, uh, wet under water for about a week. And then uh, you process using these machines and then you have to use it within 24 hours otherwise it loses its strength. So one is that the cement, uh, this salt and modia lime are very close friends and they mix with each other very well, both are white and uh, you know uh, it doesn't break the, that uh, modia lime construction. The second is that modia lime construction to begin with has a low strength. But with period of time, the strength increases and, and it increases infinitely because endlessly, uh, you know, over a period of time. Whereas cement, uh, to begin with the construction, uh, uh, the, the strength is highest and with passage of time, the, the strength reduces. And therefore, cement buildings don't last more than 100, 200 years. Uh, whereas uh, you see Ford, for example, Jodhpur Ford which it was made in 1458, 556 year old and made with Mudia lime, it is so strong today. So this is how we made uh, and in 2008, 9, 9, there was a Pichiak dam close by which got uh, damaged and burst 
and uh, there was a four feet water in our entire campus. You know, a lot of buildings in the villages, uh, you know, fell down, but our wall uh, remained intact, and it proved that uh, our experiment of constructing uh, foundation up to plinth area using Moody line was correct. And now it has been uh, nine years, but you see the wall is still there, intact and strong. We have about 10,000 trees all put together. Okay. Now, these trees are in the beginning, in the beginning when we planted mm -hmm. a few trees. Uh, the tree is finished, it's all finished. उस मतलब वो सारे पत्ते जड़ गए सब सूख गया उसको हमने फिर नीचे खोदा अंदर उसकी पूरी रूट है बिल्कुल कोयले की जैसे काली थी तो लोगों ने बोला ये तो नमक में तो ये होना ही है तो देन व्हाट वी डिड वी डग फिट वन मीटर बाय वन मीटर बाय वन मीटर इन दैट वी पुट वन लॉरी फुल ऑफ स्वीट मिट्टी व्हिच वी गोट फ्रॉम अब टेन फिफ्टीन किलोमीटर अवे उसमें एक बोरी गोबर मिंगने की खाद डाली ट्री गार्ड वॉज यूज इन मंथ ऑफ मे एंड जून अप्रैल मे जून उसके चारों तरफ जूट की बोरी लगाते थे और जूट की बोरी के ऊपर पानी छिड़कते थे तो देट वुड गिव इट उसको लू से बचाएगा प्लांट को यू नो सो देट इज हाउ दिस प्लांट सर्वाइव टूडे ऑफकोर्स नाउ दे वन सो बिग एंड रूट है गॉन डाउन so you know the plants are 15 to 20 feet high in addition to putting the jute bags on the tree guard we also planted uh, uh, large foliage and low root uh, plants like uh, castor and sunflower mm -hmm. so they have large uh, foliage and low roots so to safeguard uh, plants from the uh, you know from the very hot air and sunlight, very hot sunlight. After digging this uh, one meter by one meter by one meter pit, you know, we put a multi-layer jumbo bag to stop the ingress of salinity. So that has been put in about uh, 100 plants where the salinity was very high. Of course, uh, salt uh, breaks them also, but it breaks them slowly, slowly because it will be multi-layer. By the time it is uh, seepage starts, dheere dheere the plant gets used to salinity. Planted three kind of trees if I can use. One is uh, salt resistant trees. Second is uh, uh, trees which uh, are good for environment mm -hmm. like uh, people and neem. Third is uh, trees which give uh, some fruits and uh, you know other things like gunde and beer and all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular thing, which is uh, called uh, in local language pilu. You know this one. This is salt resistant. Plus, ye, uh, you know this is a desi babul. You know, desi babul. See, uh, when we purchased this land, it was uh, full of uh, English babul. So our friend Rajendra Singh Ji, he is a very close family friend, he had come. So he said first take out this English bubble. See, English bubble doesn't let anything else grow and it makes the land infertile. Okay. So we removed some 10 truck loads of uh, English bubble. Hmm. As compared to that, uh, this Desi bubble, uh, it makes the land fertile and lets others grow. Was, uh, this is how our land was. Uh, uh, in 2005, nine years back, when we purchased it, so you, you know, I wanted to show you photographs. You can see and how it, uh, you know, it has been transformed. So transformation is visible standing here so clearly.